I get the question all the time, can you really grow tomatoes, peppers, you know, habanero peppers, sweet carmen peppers, squashes, watermelons, cantaloupes? You sure can. This system allows us to grow even more quantity, be more successful. These towers you see here have been growing since September, six months. We've been harvesting off these towers for six months. Look at these beautiful red peppers here. Oh my goodness. We got some green peppers. We got a bunch of different types of tomatoes. Here's a beautiful bell pepper different varieties of tomatoes. This tower system will allow you to just grow any of these fruiting crops year round. If you'll just go and protect them, like uh, when we had frost, we covered these towers and we kept them producing year round, even when it was cold out. Now granted, we live in Arizona, but if you do this on a regular basis, you'll see the power of the tower when it comes to growing the, all these uh, fruiting crops in it. Some of the issues we see when people are trying to grow any of their fruiting crops, they let them become shrubs. Well, you've got to get in there and cut them back. So these towers got away from us. We've been super busy with all our seedling business. But if you'll trim them back and let air flow into the plant canopy, you can see how many tomatoes we have hiding in here. We've got hundreds of thousands of tables of tomatoes growing in here. It's just crazy. So we cut all this back. We're getting even more blossoms now. And it remind you, or let's, let me remind you, these have been growing since September. So six months worth of growth here. So it can be done. You just have to be more tenacious. You know, cut off any vegetation that's not, doesn't have a, a blossom on it. Get that off there. That way it'll push um, that growth more into the fruit. That's what you want. You want it to have all that energy going into the fruit so you can grow the, the fruit and get it as big as possible. Also, the reservoir will get a lot of the roots in it. You want to reach in there and you want to grab those roots and yank them out because this isn't hydroponics, this is aeroponics. We want those roots to be in air, not in water. And so by pulling those roots out of your reservoir, you'll actually go through less nutrients in water. So that's another tip that you can do while you're growing tomatoes in your own backyard.